the biggest remaining question marks and how do we think it's going to play out and the biggest one probably the most obvious one is who will start at tight end unfortunately i think the answer is going to be jeremy sprinkle because right now you're looking at sprinkle you're looking at free agent additions logan thomas and richard rogers yep they also have hale henches on the roster and they brought in thaddeus moss who has a foot problem, which, by the way, he dropped out of the draft. He really only played one year at LSU, right? Mm -hmm. And he did have a good national championship game, but he didn't have overwhelming numbers at LSU. He's not a burner, and he has the foot issue this year, and apparently two years ago it knocked him out from a season. So that is troubling. Yeah, J.P. Finley was on with Chad Dukes yesterday, and he was saying that people kind of snooze on Hale Henches. Hmm. That he right now he might have the best overall skill set of all the guys in the tight end room, even um, more than obviously Logan Thomas, who's a project. You know, he's converted. I'm a Logan Thomas guy. I'm a Logan Thomas guy. Cakes. That's who I'm putting my money on. Well, apparently R- Ron Rivera is too. He, he brought him in, he, and it seems like he's going to get more of the workload, obviously, than he has in seasons past in the NFL. He's, you know, he's very limited at, at this point as as the experience wise, but he's going to get more of a chance here than he's ever gotten in the NFL. Here's what Ron said to the post. The staff has seen glimpses of Olsen esque athletic ability from Thomas. And he added that their tight ends coach felt very strongly about Thomas because of his smarts and savvy. I'm telling you, I'm a Logan Thomas guy. I liked the signing the day I heard it. You're a Logan said, Thomas truther? I'm a li- Well, I just I just think he's got abilities and a great athlete, obviously. And uh, I think he Look, can Look, with more on his plate, productive. maybe maybe he turns into a 35 or 40 catch type of guy. I think Nobody so. I think that sort of that. role. And, and maybe Hale Henches will be legit cakes. I'm just looking at his career numbers. And he's got eight catches oh, yeah. in the pros. And in college at Alabama, he had 15. You can't yeah. go on numbers with any of these guys, really. I mean, about, they're not going to have elite tight ends. I what mean, about running back? Running back, I think, is a question mark. That is one of the bigger a, questions. I was kind of going through the article there. If you yeah, want to go, they got that. a ton of RBs right now. I mean, running I don't back know if you is would, an issue. They've I don't know if you want to three, consider Antonio Gibson I a running back or not. Geis is going to be amazing for three games. He's <clears> going to be <throat> incredible. He's going to light our you know your, your shorts are going to be on fire when you see him play, and then he's going to go down, and then you're going to go back to AP. And then it's going to look like Callahan ball, and you're going to want to blow your brains out. <laughs> Hopefully not, know, Cakes. I don't, don't think it's know. going to devolve into that. You don't know what's going to happen with Bryce Love. For some reason, I think Peyton Barber is going to emerge as the number one. He could. Mm. I mean, he's been the number one before. And I could I'm... see McKissick, who they signed to be a third down back, being a casualty. If, the, if you consider Gibson a, a running back. Like, it seems like McKissick would be redundant. To what about some of Peterson the guys possibly have. being cut? It's possible. It could be, but I think I think Rivera likes the you know, the the culture that he's helping establish in that locker room. Has he been quoted t- hyping up AP Rivera? Or are you just assuming that cakes? I haven't heard that. I, I think he's. I think he. I'm sure he likes like him. Thomas Davis. You know, he brought him in. I think he kind of views AP in the same light. Yeah. Uh huh. Well, and especially when you have all those young RBs you know, with yeah. Geis and Love and Gibson and. And Barber, who knows? I just think that RB is a, an interesting position because I can't imagine they're going to keep five. No. I think Gibson's going to make you know? more of an impact, too. That I, I think he's going to be, I don't know if I would say heavily involved, but he's going to be involved. I mean, they spent a relatively high pick on him, and I think Scott Turner is going to find a way to get him reps at running back in the slot and use him all over the field. Gibson the touches. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I, I agree with you. He's the one that we're – He's the X factor, legitimately the X factor. And then yeah. left tackle. Left tackle is another big one. Of course, they draft big Sadiq one. Charles from LSU. They have Jerron Christian, who is a holdover, and they signed um, Cornelius Lucas. Cornelius Lucas. So Correct. I would think that they're hoping Sadiq Charles will be the starter. But he might not be the starter initially. No, I, well, I think Christian's going to be the starter. Huh? I, think, yeah, I, think I think Christian has I think to be Christian, the starter. Christian, yeah, he's just been around longer. His third year in the system, like at some point you have to start paying some dividends. You don't turn over your left tackle spot to a fourth-round pick uh, t- very often. Well, Wait. Christian was just a third-rounder. Yeah, Say but again? he has but, a higher draft choice. But he's, been, but he's in, been on the roster for a couple of years. Been a pro. 
Right. You know, this this kid won't know what, what the hit him is, the first six months. The other thing is, you know, with the abbreviated, abbreviated off season, and you know, you can't get out there with the young guys. Right. So they're, they're not going to any right. OTAs. This is where you toss the keys to Christian. So look, right. look, so man, they're going to rely heavily three. on those vets. Not right. that he's a vet, but the guys have been there before. The other position which Sam Fortier writes about in the Washington Post is corner. Who's going to seize the starting jobs at corner and wide receiver? At corner, they have three guys probably battling for two spots. Kendall Fuller, Fabian Moreau, and Ronald Darby, who they signed. They have other guys like Danny Johnson, Greg Stroman, and Jimmy Moreland that are probably depth guys. Mm -hmm. um, my guess is Fuller traditionally has been really good in the slot. My guess is Moreau and Darby are going to be your outside corners and run Fuller in in the slot. Well, Fuller's starting somewhere, whether it's in the – Because of the starting. money they I mean, gave him. You gave him four years and $40 million. You didn't yeah. give him that sort of money to have him be a situational type of player. He's right. going to get the lion's share of reps at one of those spots. Darby is on a one-year prove-it deal. Yeah. He was horrendous last year in Philadelphia. I don't know if it was scheme or injury or a combination of the two. He was not impressive. I think the Redskins just want to see if there's anything that they can, you know, squeeze out of him in a one-year deal. And getting back to Fuller, he's the best player out of those three guys. Right, so by he's far. Gonna, he's going to play. You know, and Valdez points out, uh, you know, in our little <laughs> chat there, that we keep forgetting they do have two extra roster spots, right, that the right. CBA negotiated. Uh, now, is that going to be for this year, or is that when they go to the 17 game? Uh, I think that's starting immediately. You think? Yes. Uh, we need to find out. If so you're what right, you're saying is you might carry an extra running back or carry an extra corner, wide receiver. Or whatever, yeah. Which, by the way, is the last position. And we know Terry McLaurin's the one. It's who's going to be the number two. Is it going to be Kelvin Harmon? Is Gandy Golden, the the guy they picked um, from Liberty, is he going to emerge? I mean, a lot of people seem to be high on him in social media. Uh, so we'll see what happens there at wide receiver. Pretty thin if Redskins. that's all we got. I, got. I haven't even thought about it lately. You have Harmon. You obviously, you have Sims, who's more of a slot guy. You have Still Gandy Trey Gold Quinn. Who? Trey, Trey Quinn. Oh, yeah, Trey Quinn, yeah. Um, <laughs> there really aren't any other candidates to be your two at this point. I think it's going to have to be Harmon to start. Unless Gandy Golden just blows him away. Right? I mean, who else? Three, three, three. Is Jehu Chesson still in the wide receiver room? I don't think so. <laughs> is he gone? Who was the big kid from Alabama that Sims? Cam Sims. 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 Sims that everybody got excited there. about, but he never really did anything. Yeah, he's still there. Yeah. So maybe you're right. Maybe it's McLaurin, Harmon, Sims now, and then Gandy Golden, Gibson think, right behind him. Yeah. Cam Sims is the king of... Mm. And Impressing during OTAs and maybe during a week of training camp. And then right. doing just nothing. Right. A lot of nothing. Yeah, right. Jason mentioned Cody Latimer. He's in the equation. 24 catches, though, a season ago. So, but yeah. bottom line is they're going to rely heavily on five young guys. When you talk about McLaurin, who, you know, he's, he's a stud, so you don't have to worry about yeah. his age. But Harmon, uh, Sims, Gandy Golden, and then Gibson. It's pretty right. scary when they you think about They might have the youngest it. receivers in the league. It's pretty scary how thin they are. It really is. 